Good morning everyone, welcome to the first day of the Dubai Boat Show 2022. We are here on day one, so it's <laughs> Wednesday the 9th of February and we're super excited mm -hmm. to be taking you around over the next few days, aren't we? So we're going to post this video on the 9th because we um, know the boat show's on until the 13th. So if you are in Dubai and you want to come, I think admission is like um, $10. Um, so yeah, we managed to get a hold ourselves of like a media um, pass so we've got like early access yes um, but yeah we're just gonna go explore and bring you guys along yeah really excited there's some amazing boat brands here displaying this year the scenery is just absolutely incredible wait if I show yeah. you first over that way that we've skyline. got the wheel then the skyline over that way as you can see so yeah you don't have to be um, a boat owner a captain a diver or anyone in particular to come to this like you said summer you can just buy a ticket so if you're watching this on the 9th and you're looking for something to do in Dubai this weekend, yeah. why not come along and check out some beautiful yachts? Our manifesting kind yes. of activity because we want a yacht, a yacht in the future. Yeah. We're just we do. We're working our way towards owning our yacht, aren't we? So yeah. we are going to try and arrange some tours. Yeah. Should we try go and arrange some yachts? Check tours. it out. Yes. Let's go. Okay. We are coming up to the entrance. We need to find the media registration, right? Yes, we do. Yeah. Uh, Matt has been told off the filming already. It's all right. I flashed the media pass. They are very strict on filming here in Dubai. So if yeah, you are coming to film, obviously make sure you have a pass. I think if you've got an iPhone, it's fine. It's yeah. If you've got an actual camera. So this looks like VIP registration. I like the look of that. Should we try and go yeah. through there? Yeah. We look like a pair of VIPs. Okay. And here it is. Okay, guys. We've got the lanyard. Media packs all sorted. And now we're about to head inside. So we'll film and we'll show you going through. Welcome um, drinks. Yes, welcome drinks. I hear there's some nice tea out of gold. A cold go. kettle? Gold kettle, not gold kettle. Teapot. Oh. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with it. So here we are, we've got some welcome drinks and everything like that going on. Do you want to get an orange juice, Summer? Oh, watermelon. Oh, I have an orange juice, yeah. Thank you so much. Sir, orange juice. Nice. Good, right? Okay. And then we're going to head through there. Lots of other media people in here. So we're currently waiting for like the main brief and the media walk. That's why we're here on day one, super early. Really excited to go through. We've got the main entrance there. It is a gorgeous 31 degrees at the moment here in Dubai. Gorgeous. So lovely weather to be walking around and checking out some awesome yachts. Now we're following the people with the sign. Follow me. Is there a specific yacht you're looking for today, Matt? Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the Sunreef yachts. That's been one of my favourite brands for a long time. We have spotted some cars. Yeah, we've well, spotted some amazing cars here. Lambert. I can see a uh, Bugatti Chiron. Wow. You see that? We've got Lamborghini Urus, S-Class Maybach Mercedes, big G-Wagon, an Aventador. That makes you realize how big that center console boat is when you compare it to looking at the cars just there. And then this is our backdrop, so I'll give you a little look around. Look at that skyline, absolutely amazing. Nikki Beach, actually, yeah, look. Nikki Beach is here at the Dubai Marina. So we're looking out for a set. Oh, look, we've got all our journalist friends over there. Yeah. Um, just going as a group. Not sure. <laughs> we've come ahead, we're waiting for them all. We're just having an explore. We're just having a wander off. Giving you the first look really before yeah. everyone arrives. Wow, those are like modified cars, right? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, it's an amazing location, isn't it? And it tell has done what? a great job with putting on this show. It looks How awesome. big this boat looks out of Oh, it's so funny, that's exactly what is I said. It? It's like fish, isn't it? Yeah, 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 out really water. yeah, especially compared to the cars. Yeah. Huge, right? I know. I guess it's quite a big boat anyway. It is a big centre yeah. console, yeah. So there are a lot of special cars here, courtesy of the IP Motors. I'll give you a little preview. The 6x6 G Wagon. We've got a lot here. As you can see, we've got the star of the show. An amazing backdrop with that as well, which is awesome. Hopefully you can see all this okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep continuing along, find summer. 
we keep looking at some boats. So behind me, we have the Dubai police boats. And actually not too long ago, we were at the top of the address building and we looked down and could actually see this boat or one pretty much the same. And the amazing thing is here, the police also have, do you know that jetpack man? Do you remember when we is saw it flying the with police? the boat? Oh, I don't know if it's part no, of the I don't, I think, I They think... were flying together. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe it was accompanying it, like an escort. But that's quite cool. What about this one? This is cool, isn't it? Let's have a little look at this. So we've got some docking. Docking innovation. Yeah. Solar docking station. That looks kind of cool. So it would be a fully sustainable docking station. We've got invincible yachts here. They're a very big boat, aren't they? Yeah, once they're out of the water, they look that much bigger as well. Let's have a quick look at the Bentley. Nice. We're currently in the food and beverage area, which I have to say just has an amazing backdrop, as you can see. So this area looks to be, well, initially I thought it was somewhere where you could perhaps test a paddleboard, but maybe not. It's got some seats here. Yeah, they're then... just seats, I think, yeah, for exactly. the tables. You just sit on them and it's like a table there, but full jet ski. And then You've got... have a look at the food area that way. Yeah, here's the food trucks. Really nice place to just come and sit. Lovely. Great backdrop as well. So yeah, we're at a yacht show <laughs> and there's something for everyone's budget. A little baby one or a big one. <laughs> Showing you some more of the boats on display. There's a lot of smaller center console boats like these. It's nice to have a first look at everything that's here. Look at these engines. So each one of those is a 600 horsepower V12. That is awesome. This is a 54 foot boat, centre console. This is the thing I want, a sea bob. A sea bob, yeah. Oh, they're so cool, aren't they? They're like the ultimate Don't toy you that you need them? for your yacht. Yeah. I wonder how much they are. Look at that one, full carbon fibre. That looks so good. So which sea bob are you going for? Which one? Oh, I like the neon. They're so cool, aren't they? I like the neon. Have a close look. Look at this as well. Look, yeah. you can on the pictures on it. That one's massive, it's isn't like it? A I found a see-through kayak. Oh, see-through like kayak. Like the Maldives, where they see it. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think it would be fun trying to buy all the accessories, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's when you know you made it, when you can buy a big yacht and you yeah. can come shopping, and this is your shopping list. Yeah. Okay, we're just going to explain how these boards yes, actually work. Yes. Um, so, it's already branded. So. Yeah, there's a lot of... Um, in Dubai that we've seen. So if you can just explain a little bit how you get going and how it works. Okay, hi. So basically you have a wireless remote control in your hand. Yeah. You have to unlock it, engage the motor and uh, get going. So basically first you climb on the board, you're sitting on all fours or on your knees and you get going, you accelerate. Once you have good speed, you stand up on the board and let it lift you up, then you have to control it, moving your, your weight a bit forwards and backwards. And when you have enough speed, the wings generate lift force that raise the, the whole board in you above the water. Yeah. And you have much less surface dragging on the water, much less drag, and your no vibrations, everything is silent. It's, it's really a feeling like flying. And what kind of speeds do these beginner will that begin yeah. to go? Well, on, on the beginner board, we're we're actually aiming for the lowest speed possible yeah. to fly. Oh because yeah. This is easier to yeah, learn. Exactly. And, uh, it flies with 15 kilometers per hour, which is quite low. Okay. And if you put the smaller wings and uh, the smaller board, you can go all the way up to 45, 45 which is wow. quite that's quite, quite fast. Water. Yeah. So just outside the Williams jet tenders, um, these are like the ultimate tender to your luxury yacht. So we'll show you a little look at the ones they've got on display this year and the various different sizes. So obviously they're all jet powered. That's their key unique element, or it has been for however long they've been going. Turbo jet model here, the 325. They're just the nicest tenders, they're so gorgeous. And then this is the biggest one that they have here. But the detailing with the teak here, the speakers in the front. Wow. Nice boat to just have that on its own, let alone as a tender to a luxury yacht. 
So there's like a huge indoor area as well, which we haven't checked out. Yes. No, all right, down the pontoon onto the jetties. We're now going to actually check out some of these amazing yachts. That's the main thing, obviously, we're here for. Hopefully, we can get a walkthrough on some of these ones. We'll do our best to show you all of them. Shall we start that way or at the end of this pontoon? Let's Which go way? Straight on and work our yeah, way around. Straight on, yeah. okay. Yeah. This is a 32 meter azimut yacht, so they have that on display here. That's another really popular super yacht brand. toys on the back of them as well. We were just looking at the toys behind me, like the sea bobs. So that's a good place to keep one on your husband yacht. We're just going to check out the other um, side of the pontoon because it's quite busy down there. So yeah, we're going, we're going for the private showing. Gosh, nearly fell in the water there. What about this stuff? Is this like little... Wet bar. So this is all the stuff you need to entertain, oh. socialise outside, so you can cook and keep drinks cold nice. and serve out to the table there. Yeah, I like the table and the like sunbed yes. kind of thing at the back. Yeah, that's a favourite spot for a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see inside. Oh, wow. So that's a little kitchen. Yeah. So oh, galley, yeah. It really is home from home, so you know, you've got all the appliances there you'd expect in your house. The cooking, the kitchen stuff cool. What we got, Matt? Fridge? Yeah, fridge. And then a really nice feature in this photo is the roof that slides back, so you can open this whole section up as well to the outdoors. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. What about this area? This is nice, like living yeah, space. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous TVs. Uh, well, if you even need a TV, I just I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that goes down, doesn't it, it does, into the yeah. cabinet? Yeah. yeah. That's on an electric visor. Are these speakers as well? Yes, they are. Yeah. There's a surround sound system. Wow, yeah. so. Let's see. Wow, that is a cool seat. Yeah. And How many bedrooms is there? Three, I suppose. Three bedrooms. Yeah. Should we go down that, isn't yeah. it? Oh, nice carpet. Master cabinet, though. That's the that's oh, the guest. So that's the, the guest VIP. That's where your best friend you go. Nice. Oh, this is a nice bedroom. Have a sat in water. What have you got behind you there, Matt? I've got a TV here. Oh, that one's locked. Oh, that's an old sweet bar. Oh, Jack and Jill for it. Jack and Jill, yeah. So it's for the for daily use, and it's the ensuite for that cabin. Nice. Nice little shower. Where do you want to go? This is nice. I love this seating area here as well on the other side. Gorgeous. Area, yeah, you've actually got quite a bit of space. Yeah, it's spacious, isn't it? It's amazing, isn't it? How, how much you can get into yeah. what is relatively small space. And what I love about this size boat is you can still, obviously, if you're experienced, handle it yourself yes. as an owner. Yeah. yeah. How big for crew on this boat? Yeah. yeah. How big is this boat again? It's 60 feet. 60 feet, okay, cool. Got a TV and then you've got your wardrobes here. Yep. Gorgeous, I like the lighting behind the TV. Yeah, isn't it? And a big TV over there. Is there an ensuite in this bedroom? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sliding door. Nice big shower. Really nice. Oh, yeah, that's like an actual shower. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And how much roughly is a boat like this? It starts at about 1.6 million. You say that, Matt? Yeah. Oh, no. Here's this. The other bedroom. And then. I'm not sure what's in there. I think it's this wardrobe. 
Okay, now we're gonna walk down the pontoon, switch to the wide angle camera so you can get a real feel for everything here. Yes, that is a gorgeous color. Below deck, yeah, it's a good show. Every time I see like the deck hands in, what are they called? The not waitresses, yeah. Stewardesses. Stewardesses, it reminds me of the show. So here are the Pershing yachts, the 9X and the 8X. And some specs as you can see here. So they're around 25 meters, these yachts. I love just seeing them fall up and down. It's just so tranquil, isn't it? I could sit and watch them all day. Right, continuing on this pontoon, yes, Summer? Oh, you found the new chair. Looking good, welcome to your yacht, yeah? <laughs> Off the gangplank. <laughs> the gangbang? The what? <laughs> like pirate oh, ships. Look, this is a weird shaped one. Crunchy. Yeah, nice colours, isn't it? The grey like hull finish and the red upholstery. Take a walk up that pontoon, we can show you a little bit more. Might get wet. As you can see, I'll stop here because otherwise I'm going to get soaked. Got some cleaning going on here. Now I did really want to look at these boats here, these smaller ones. Yeah, this one is gorgeous, the colours on this. How good is this for a day boat? Yeah. Just somewhere to head out or even a weekender. That with red leather. Oh yes, uh, that is so nice. I'd like to get a price on that one. So the Dubai police have arrived and what they're gonna do is dive down right now into the marina to actually make sure that it's clear and there's no hazards potentially for another yacht to come in. So we've got this yacht here that we're trying to have a look at a little later. And yeah, look, we're all suiting up. <laughs> Don't know whether I can film them that much, but I'm just gonna go for it. This is an awesome garage. Look at this, you've got space for it. You see a dude, jet ski, Williams Jets tender and lots of toys. Maybe we can come back and see this one a little more later. It's a lot of horsepower. This is a highly designed boat. The features of these boats are is that they, they can expand and as you can see also the swimming platform can go totally down so you can put the sea bob on it. The, the bathing platform or the swimming stairs. He's going to put it up now. Oh, so this has all gone out. That's really yes. cool. So when you when you are an anchor, yeah. then you put it out and you have your own. Yeah, it's huge. Bathing area. Uh, when you go to sell, you just put, put it in. So yeah. the advantage of this platform is, um, mm -hmm. you can put a sea bob or a jet ski, you can put it on. So you don't have to lift it in the water because... Yeah. <laughs> Support 600 kilos. Wow. 600. So this is a nice little seating area. Yeah, yeah. So, so the tables they can unfold in this case. Website, we have a gallery and then you see all the features of the boat. Okay. It's alright, we've got we, we already... You just got it in. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Show them, uh, oh, I like the stairs. We are going back. The boat has air conditioner in the two cabins, okay. generator. Uh, yeah. Very red down there. Oh, you got another kitchen. On the table. Oh, let me sit on the table. Storage. Look, Ask if it's this. Oh, yeah. Um, Chin in there. The Coffee now. machine, yeah. We do. Um, Even more red. Red everywhere. 
Oh, I've got black hardware with it. You can see there, quite cool on the sinks. So we're just showing how the bathing platform works now. You can completely customize it. Oh, that's cool. Wow. And this is the very boat, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, this is this is the boat. It's actually built in the UK uh, by a company called Rannick, uh, out of Essex. And um, this thing will safely help us cross 3,000 nautical miles across the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. And you were, on, you were on board rowing, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we're full on. Well full done. On. There's Toby, he's rowing as well. Toby, good to meet you. you. Say hello to you. Lovely indeed, to meet indeed. you. Indeed, indeed. Oh, yes, Toby from Britain, we kind yes. I really photoshopped that picture quite a lot, <laughs> as you can see. I don't recognize myself at all. So, yeah, so we got from the Canary Islands in La Gomera all the way to Antigua there. Wow. So, imagine, just to put some perspective, waves that big. No. Yeah, no yeah. Yeah, no. Four, was that, 40 foot waves. Wait, so how do you not well, it is the Atlantic, so... Uh, no, this thing will roll over, but it'll, it'll self-right. Uh, it's our job on the oars to keep the boat straight to make sure that we don't, uh, we don't fall over but, uh, or capsize. Wow. What's the diet look like whilst you're on board? Uh, I wish Ray was here. Ray's the sort of uh, the man who's, who's Mr. Mr. Fitness and, and, and Wellness on board. I thought he was going to um, say he was the chef. No, no, no. <laughs> he's, actually, he's actually a vet, so he's the medic as well. Oh, okay. um, uh, meals will mainly be MREs, so, uh, so ready-to-eat meals. Yeah. Boil, boil in the bag sort of stuff or, or rehydrate um, with some water. We've got a water maker on board that makes our water and we just boil it up, have some tea. Eating about, hopefully about 6,000 calories a day. This is their Instagram, Arabian Ocean Rowing Team, December 4th. The challenge starts. So do you want to win the race? Um, <laughs> we'd like to, our, our motto as a team is, is, is very, very similar in, uh, in, in a lot of endurance events. To finish first, First you must finish. Yeah. So I think priority priority is making sure That's we good. cross safely. Like so we've got access onto this gorgeous boat. This one isn't actually oh let me just hold on. This isn't for sale, this one, but there's like a sister boat that's for sale. It's so gorgeous. Shall we show everyone upstairs first? Yeah, yeah. How nice is this area? Gorgeous. And then guys, so it keeps going. There's more steps. Go yeah, go. where it's at the top flybridge deck amazing viewpoint from here look at that skyline so much seating area as well yeah and then let me take you guys to my favorite part. so much seating wow look how amazing this looks <laughs> gorgeous isn't it so did you mention the price? No, I haven't yet. Nice. So these yachts of this size from this company are around four million, starting for four million euros, depending on your finish and specification. And what is the shipyard called? Van der Volk. Van der Volk. So yeah, this is gorgeous. The one thing about this um, boat also feels like a luxury apartment inside. Let me show you guys the inside quickly. So you've got an entrance down there, and then you've got steps. To a living space and the helm. Down some more steps. Look, it's like a luxury apartment in here. And then here's the kitchen, all black kitchen. Quickly show you guys the main bedroom. You've got three bedrooms, or cabins as they call it, in the yachting industry. I thought it was a really big ensuite for this boat as well. Okay, let me go find Matt. Oh, I'm coming into you. <laughs> what do you think, Matt? Yeah, I love it. It's beautiful inside. Just shooting the TikTok. My on TikTok GT. I've always loved these models, particularly one like this. If anyone wants to <laughs> send me one of these, I'll be very pleased. Currently inside the exhibition, so it's nice and air cooled in here. And there's lots going on, so it's not just the main yachts outside. You've got clothing stalls, 
investment stores, Ray Marinas and navigation systems. Yeah, let's head back outside. Let's go this way. Found a big buoy. Fender. Oh, fender. <laughs> so we've just come to check out Velassi jet skis outside, and look at the specs on this: 320 horsepower and 125 kilometers an hour, under four seconds to 100k. So we're just getting ready to leave the boat show for today. Okay, ready to come back next time and there's definitely something going on here, very busy. We're checking out that yacht. So as I mentioned, the reason it's pretty busy down there and there's a lot going on is because that is the Crown Prince of Dubai. At the front, Crown Prince. Yep, here's the Crown Prince, just having a look around the yachts. Okay, that is a wrap of day one at the boat show. We hope you enjoyed coming around with us. Yes, for sure. We filmed three yacht tours. Yep. We've also got the Crown Prince of Dubai behind us. Yeah, he's actually just there having a look at that yacht. There. So we just saw him. Yeah, that was cool. And we're going to head back now. It's three o'clock. We've been here since nine, so yeah. it's actually been a while. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you guys for watching. Yeah, thanks very much. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Very Subscribe hot. for more. Very, very hot. We've been here all right day. <laughs> we may come back for another day here. I'm sure we will to check out some more yeah. yachts. So stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, we'll be Peace posting out. this today, won't we? So if you're yeah. around in the wild this weekend and you want something to do, you can check us out and maybe say Until hello to us. Yes. Cool. See you guys later. See ya.